Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 23 of 2019 that stipulates the establishment of the Commission for Horse Affairs Care Board of Directors. Under the supervision of the Minister in Charge of Municipal Affairs, His Majesty also issued Royal Decree 24 of 2019 regarding the formation of the Board of Directors of the Commission for Horse Affairs Care that will be presided over by Sheikh Daid bin Salman bin Mbarak Al Khalifa and with the following members Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed bin Sultan Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Fozi Abdullah Nas, Haider Rafi Al Zaubi, Yusuf Ahmed Al Isa, Dr. Francesco Bilamo. The duration of their membership will be four years, renewable for similar periods. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 25 of 2019 that stipulates the appointment of Dr. Khalid Ahmed Muhammad Hassan as Chief Executive of the Commission for Horse Affairs Care. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at the Bia Palace and Secretary General Dr. Yasser Nasser delivered the following statement. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the positive outcomes of the visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Turkmenistan and the talks he held with President Qurban Guli Berdi Mohamedo. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of such visits in enhancing the bilateral relations and coordination through the signing of agreements and MOUs that will benefit both countries and their people. The Cabinet approved a decree by law to form a com committee that will follow up on the agreement signed between Bahrain and Turkmenistan. His Royal Highness then praised and congratulated the winners of the UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize in using information and communication technology in the field of education in which it enhances initiatives that serve UNESCO's future aspirations. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of the oil and gas sectors in supporting economic development and praised the outcomes of the 21st edition of the 2019 Middle East Exhibition for Oil and Gas that was held recently under His Royal Highness's patronage and inaugurated by Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa that aim to promote investment and overcome challenges as well as exchange expertise. His Royal Highness then welcomed the visitors who are attending the Formula One event wishing this international sport event success. He praised the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salma bin Hamad Al Khalifa to this event. His Royal Highness directed all ministries and government institutions to provide the facilitation needed to ensure the success of this international event. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister then directed to open up a full investigation regarding the incident that happened in the Hamad Town School for Girls and directed to form a high-level committee led by Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak in order to stop these violations and hold whoever is accountable for them. He added that this committee will also include the Minister of Education, the Minister of Justice and Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Minister of Labor and Social Development, Minister of Representative and Shura Council's Affairs, and the Minister of Health. His Royal Highness also directed the Supreme Council for Education and Training to find solutions for medical students graduating from the universities of China. His Royal Highness then directed the Ministry of Housing to allocate a housing project to the people of Sanabis and Morzan and meet the requirements of the people. His Royal Highness then directed the Ministry of Labor and Social Development to follow up on private companies that did, pay, did not pay its employees regularly or did not disburse their salaries on its appropriate dates. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa launched a program to employ 240 newly graduating Bahraini doctors that will be implemented in two years. The program qualifies doctors to work in health centers and public and private hospitals as well as to open their own clinics and work in them without supervision 
following their qualification according to a training program in Arabian Gulf University that has been specifically prepared for this purpose. The cabinet decided to amend the standards and requirements of medical profession licenses to allow Bahraini graduates with master's degrees in family medicine to open private clinics. The cabinet approved an MOU between the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and the International Commerce Center that aims to provide a framework for cooperation between the two sides to provide technical support and facilitate Bahraini commerce as well as to develop local exports globally. The cabinet also approved the 2018 annual report on the National Committee's work regarding the ban of developing, producing and using chemical weapons. The cabinet approved an MOU between the Supreme Council for the Environment with the Saudi Wildlife Authority to bolster cooperation between the two sides and the environmental and wildlife fields. During the official visit of the Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa to Japan, he met with the Japanese Foreign Affairs Minister Taro Kono in the presence of the Bahraini Ambassador to Japan, Ahmed Dosari, and the Japanese Ambassador to Bahrain, Haide Kieto. The Japanese Foreign Affairs Minister welcomed His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali and his accompanying delegation to Japan, which embodies the deep rooted bilateral relations, hailing His Highness's efforts in bolstering ties and the advanced level that the Southern Governorate has achieved, and various vital projects and programs. He expressed hope that the visit will succeed in benefiting the two countries and their people. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali hailed the directives of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, expressing pride in the outstanding relations between the two countries and the growth and prosperity they witness in all fields as a result of the keenness of the two countries' leaders. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali noted the role of the Southern Governorate in the development process of Bahrain and in many successes and achievements it made in various programs and services which reflects the advancement and prosperity of the kingdom, the kingdom witnesses in various fields. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, today opened the third Gulf Safety Forum, which is organized by the European Petroleum Consultants Company in cooperation with the National Oil and Gas Authority, with the participation of the senior international experts and suppliers of safety tools and technologies. The Minister noted the importance of placing the issue of safety among the priorities of companies and the training of human labor and innovative and professional methods to be able to contain various accidents which undoubtedly contribute to reduce losses and waste of time. He added that the kingdom is carrying out important oil projects in order to improve the national economy where these huge investment projects need knowledgeable human cadres in the field of health and safety for the operation of these factories in a safe and high efficiency. He expressed appreciation for the efforts of all employees and contractors in Babco to achieve more than 20 million hours of work without the occurrence of time-consuming accidents which is considered significant by the continued commitment to implement the procedures, policies and safety regulations of the company. Um, so here we are today um, at this conference and we're exhibiting um, because uh, this is an important venue for us. Uh, we work across the GCC primarily for oil and gas companies and petrochemical companies and this is a uh, very very good opportunity for us to gain exposure. Um, and into what is a, a market that is growing again after the, um, uh, I guess, the impact of the drop in the oil price over the, a number of years ago. I would say Bahrain, Bahrain is actually going through a revolution in the industry. We've seen a quite a big projects that have been done. For example, the AB pipeline for Babco, we've seen the ALBA uh, Line 6, and now, of course, the biggest um, project in the history of Bahrain, not just in the history of Babco, which is the Babco modernization program. All of these projects are, can only be governed if we look for sustainable uh, growth. And sustainable growth under the directive of the, uh, of the wise leadership uh, and with uh, total and utter support of His Excellency, the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, safety comes top in addition to operational excellence, which depends on reliability of the facility. So the safety of people, safety of uh, employees, contractor, and the community is first and foremost to all. 
The Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Assam Khalaf, today met the fourth intake of the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister Fellowship during a roundtable discussion held at the Dabiya Palace. The minister highlighted the success of the OFDPM Fellowship as a vital platform that supports and delivers the vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince through improving the efficiency of public workforce in order to contribute to the Kingdom's ongoing progress and development. The minister further highlighted the program's central role in investing in Bahraini citizens and its success in honing the skills of Bahrain's public workforce, a strategic goal underpinned by Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030. He noted the importance of the program's roundtable discussions in providing an opportunity for young leaders to meet and interact with government officials and gain knowledge of the mechanisms of the government's policy-making process.